talk about the fact that typically future professionals uh, have given up income for the last 10, 11 months uh, to a year, and they're so ready to have a story, to be there, to be successful already. And, and here they are, they're, they're, they're ready to be out of school, they're ready for that home run job, and they may not make the best selection, even though we do everything we can to prepare them for it. We have them start dreaming about the type of salon that they want to, to work in very early in our program, specifically making lists of things that they, that they want. What kind, of, what kind of music, what kind of price point, what kind of staff, what, you know, what's the demographic of the client? Is it an on-the-street salon? Is it a, a second-story salon? Is it in a suburb or is it in the city? Uh, training program, no training program, uh, collection salon or a chain salon, or a traditionally commissioned salon. And so we have them think through all of that, and then we, we let them know. I, I always like to tell uh, Vidal Sassoon's story from his autobiography about how strategically he moved early on from salon to salon based on what he could learn from that particular salon. And when he learned it, he then moved on to another salon that he selected so that, so that he could learn more from them. And, and after making those, those rounds through London, he, he then found, okay, this is my time. And, and that's so powerful. So don't expect your time to be tomorrow, but expect your time to be fruitful. Even in the worst situation, if you select, what can I learn here? What do they do absolutely brilliantly? that I can take and put in my bag of tricks and go forward. So that's the focus we want them to leave with, is that lifelong learner. We say it at graduation, which, uh, uh, which we call commencement. And commencement means to begin. It doesn't mean you've arrived. And so you're at the beginning of your career in this incredible industry.